Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. So today, Mo Yang has released Snapshot 20W21A, and in it, they are adding support for custom world settings and custom dimensions. This sounds like it's going to be really, really interesting. Now, they've also added in the ability to toggle redstone wire between a cross and a dot. And as it says here, a dot of redstone will not power its surrounding blocks. This could be really useful for the redstone community. I know that since I don't do redstone, it won't be especially helpful for me. But I think it could add a lot of stuff. Now, piglins will no longer wa walk around when admiring gold. So if you throw them a golden ingot, they'll just, you know, stand there admiring it. Now, if you hurt a piglin while it's admiring an ingot, the ingot will just disappear. Like, it's not holding it anymore. Now, they've also increased the chances of ores in the basalt deltas to balance against the reduced amount of netherrack. Lily pads are now junk fishing instead of treasure. They've updated the logo for Mojang Studios and Minecraft, and they've temporarily removed structure settings. I'm not 100% sure what that means. I'll try and figure out if I can see it. There is a lot of technical changes that I don't understand, there's now also a spread players. And I think that's pretty much letting players spread out from a certain, like, target area, but I'm not sure. Now, custom world stuff, I don't really know about this, but if you guys want to go ahead and read it, you can. And now they've also fixed a lot of bugs, and I do mean quite a lot. So let's go over a few of the most interesting ones. Now this is also a very interesting bug here. Parrots will now imitate hoglins, zoglins, and piglins. And I'm assuming they already went ahead and would imitate zombified piglins. But the fact that they didn't um, imitate these, I find fairly interesting. And this is a bug that's actually um, presented twice. Blackstone and basalt prevent preventing ancient debris and other nether ores from generating. And it's again down here. And we've already touched over that, I just find it interesting that they mention it roughly three times in the whole thing. Now, this is also a very interesting bug. The game crashes when trying to generate a nether biome super flat world with ruined portals. I think that means the game crashes when you try and create a nether biome in a super flat world. But I'm not 100% sure because of the way it's worded. And those are just a few of the bugs I found interesting. Now let's hop over to Minecraft and experience the changes ourselves. Alright, so... Okay, now we're back after I took it off. Yeah, it's not my um, texture pack. There is a bug that now you can see some of the words here. I will have to report that to Mo Yang. Well, now we're here in our little plains biome. So I'm going to show you the new thing with the redstone. So let me go ahead and pull out some redstone dust. So now that we're here in our lovely plains biome, I think we're going to go ahead and get this set up showing you how these work. So, as you can see, you can swap between the dot and the cross, which both have different hitboxes. So that could be useful somehow. 
Now, if you have it as a cross, oh, and you have something a little bit like, uh, yeah, this for example, all three of the pistons are powered, which makes sense, as that's powering all those blocks. But if this is a dot and it's not powering any of them, none of them go up. However, you can instantly swap between them. Not sure exactly how that could be used, but it is fairly useful, I guess. Now, I'm fairly sure there were a few other changes added, but I really think those were the most interesting changes. So remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye.